What's up guys? Uh, right now I'm going to be making the first tutorial video for this channel. Um, I'm doing it on the last beat that I put up on my on my page. Um, it's a Bryson Tiller x Young Thug type beat that I made shortly after um, Get Mine came out. And that's kind of what I modeled this song to be after. But... Um, I put a little twist of my own and it's got a little bit of my own style to it but um so with that being said let's just get into the tutorial real quick I'm just gonna be breaking it down piece by piece and showing you guys how I made everything here so uh, let's let's get it. the first thing I did was I opened up Nexus and I picked out a piano that I liked um, and I got this little loop here um, from the slime season mini loop kit um, you can download that somewhere I forget where I got it but it's out there and um, basically this was just a melody that I found and I put it in to Nexus and I used the piano arena ambience and yeah so I mean just a basic piano let me turn that up real quick yeah just a little basic piano and there's not much to it but it sounds nice so um, I also have some EQ that I put on there and then there's also a half speed gross beat in the beginning that you will hear if you go ahead and listen to that track that I put out there a couple days ago um, so I'll just play this for you real quick this is how it starts oh hold on I still got the gross beat on it let me turn that off real quick um, so yeah, there's a gross beat in the beginning and there's a gross beat at the end, but for right now, I just want to play the uh, sound that you'll hear throughout the entire thing. Turn the volume up a little bit. So yeah, I mean that basically loops over and over throughout the whole thing. And then, like I said in the beginning, there's a gross beat, and at the end, the gross beat comes back in. So, um, also, I kind of layered this little pluck sound over that, and that plays together. Also, a Nexus, Young Chop Pack, Therapy Plucked. Real ambient sound. It sounds like this. It just kind of follows the higher notes, same sort of pattern. Um, without like the lower bass notes going back and forth kind of serves a little lead as a plug but I mean yeah um, next here also in Nexus just a little guitar strum sound um, you probably have heard this sound before Metro Guitar uses it a lot um, that's heard in Diamonds Dancing for sure um, you probably recognize it from that but I just had this little up and down pattern going here so sounds like this and that as well loops throughout the entire thing and that is it for the actual sounds oh no there's one more sound here that I used and this comes in towards the end um, also, another Nexus piano, Sexy Keys, from the KD Expansion Pack. So yeah, uh, cool little piano that I found. Figured I'd find a way to throw that in here. So, this is how this little lead sounds. So yeah. It's catchy and it flows. Um, it's noticeable towards the end. It kind of catches on, and it definitely sticks in your head. So um, that was something that I wanted to give a little bit more flavor to it. it spices up a little bit. Um, let's get into the drums. Snare that was uh, found in an OVO kit. It was used in cameras. So I mean that basically is it. That's all it does. And then next one was a snare that I created 
Um, I have my own drum kit. Um, doesn't have too much in it right now, but I make stuff from time to time and put it in there. Um, that might be available for download soon, but this is another snare. Uh, kind of just sounds like something that was in Roy Wood's Menace, if you know that song. Definitely sounds like that, so this is the second snare that I have come in. Yeah, and that loops again. Um, it was different, but, you know, it gave it a little bit of flavor to it. Spiced it up with the drums. I like to make my drums a little bit different, but... And here's the kick. It's from the language, also an OVO kit. And as you can see, I got the volume turned all the way up on that. And I have it also turned up a little bit more in the mixer, because... I like my kicks to be punchy. I like to have them hit hard. So, yeah. I thought that was a good kick that went along with it. Um, next, I got the hi hats. Um, they're lower than they should be because I didn't want them to be that much. And also, did a little bit of playing around with the ins and out, and I trimmed it because it, it just was too overpowering when I initially had just dropped the sound in. So. I worked with that a little bit, and then I also have a whole bunch of effects on here. I got EQ, Overdrive, Reverb, and then I used the Stereo Enhancer to do some panning with the left and right. Um, and here's what I came up with. So yeah, they're just kind of little stutters. Um, creates a little bit of flow, and yeah. Um, probably my favorite part of this beat is what I'm about to be showing you next, and that is the 808 pattern, or the bass. Um, I was pretty happy with the way it came out. Um, I mean, I thought it sounded crazy, but, um, what I did was I just took a regular Metro 808. Let me turn off the effects real quick. Um, I used Fruity Fast Distort, and then I just EQ'd a little bit more to get more of a that distortion sound brought out in it. But this is what it sounds like um, originally. And to get that chopped up sound, I just turned on the envelope and pretty much just made that. So it only plays for as long as you hold it. And then this is the pattern that I come up with and I'll turn the effects back on. But you can hear distorted, first non-distorted, and then EQ brings out a little bit more distortion um, show you what I did just brought up some of the lower levels there brought out some of that rumble and this is what I came up with it's got a lot of slides quick drops up and downs you know um, so yeah That loops over as well, and then when you get all the uh, the drums playing together, I mean, it gets it gets pretty crazy when it's just the drums. Like you got pretty much just the kick, the snare, and the 808 with the hi hats rolling through. I mean, it sounds pretty nice. Oh wait, I got gross beat on. Uh, let me turn that off. Do I have gross beat on? Yeah. So. So yeah, just got a little bit of flow going to it, and then you just bring in all that other stuff, and this just got nice bounce, nice flow, and that is how I made that song right there. Um, I have more tutorials coming. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be putting out there. Um, so like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you want to hear next. And I will definitely be putting more out in the near future. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, you'll be hearing more from me pretty soon.